just a quick update on uh, events of yesterday. It was a very taxing and trying day because it was tribunal day. Um, some in previous uh, logs I've kind of mentioned that Mrs. Grinnell is going through uh, assessment, reconsideration and a, an appeal tribunal for a, a, a PIP, a personal independent payment. So yesterday was tribunal day. Uh, for about a week Mrs. Grinnell has been getting agitated and anxious and not looking forward to the day. She knew she had to go through with it. She knew she had to be there, but it didn't make it any easier. And as a as a carer, it's getting her through that process. So yesterday, ended up having to book a, a day's leave from work, uh, and we went down to Stockport to the courthouse and uh, nerve wracking to get into the courthouse to begin with. Because you have to empty your pockets, you have to go through a scanner and then hold your hands out while they scan you with a wand and make sure. <coughs> One thing as well, if, if you take any drinks to a courthouse, uh, they actually make you take a, a sip of the drink, you know, a bottle of pop or whatever, uh, just to prove that there's no chemicals in there, anything that's harmful. Um, obviously with the the state of affairs it's uh, it's just a precaution to make sure that the the court officials aren't in any danger um, but that was a a nerve-wracking moment for mrs growl uh, we got in there and she was upset before we even got in there but there was a a lovely uh, clerk to the to the courts came out, uh, had a quick word, uh, just to say we were, were next in court, uh, said who was going to be there uh, on the, the tribunal panel, and it consisted of uh, three independent people, not connected with DWP. Uh, there was a judge, and a doctor, and a social worker. So these, uh, these independent people would be obviously deciding whether the appeal was dismissed or upheld. So we get us in there, and uh, lovely people. Uh, the judge obviously introduced and explained what was going to go on, and uh, very calm, very reassuring. And then we started out with the doctor uh, asking questions. And it was just exploring all the points that were were raised in the um, in the application and covering off some of the points that were discussed at the assessment. Then we moved on to the social worker who was asking another series of questions. Uh, obviously, the doctor was looking at it from a medical point of view. The social worker from the social point of view uh, and then we moved on to the to the judge who just added a, a few uh, additional questions just to clarify a few points that he may not have kind of understood uh, but Mrs Crowley was upset and agitated and in tears throughout the whole process now the the appeal hearing was scheduled for 45 minutes and that should be done, finished, start to finish in that 45 minutes. We were in the, the tribunal room, it's a, a, a courtroom, uh, but 55 minutes, so it was, it was a little bit longer than anticipated. Uh, we were already running a little bit behind, and, and tears throughout the whole lot, you know, despite you know, the, the tribunal panel being really nice people, you know, they, they were really kind of reassuring and you know they didn't uh, they didn't come across as forceful you know, they just wanted to, to understand so then we're 
finished all the questions and we were sent out uh, back into the waiting room. Uh, and obviously Mrs Crowley didn't want to go out and be seen in, in a state in public. Uh, but we did, we, we, we went out and, and waited there. Um, it was only a couple of minutes. And then uh, came back in and got a positive um, decision. So the court have overturned not a full settlement or whatever, uh, but on the, the mobility part where um, Mrs. Growley struggles with um, unfamiliar journeys, they've awarded her that. So it's a small payment every, every week to uh, to allow her. Sorry, I was just interrupted by the kids coming back. And they've been taking the dog for a walk this morning. Uh, so back to where I was. The going back into the courtroom to hear the decision. Uh, so it goes back in, and there's a couple of pieces of paper. It said, "Don't bother reading them now. Read, read them later." But ultimately, the decision was that they were going to award the mobility. Uh, element of it, a standard rate of mobility, uh, and that's to do with not being able to make unfamiliar journeys without assistance. So that payment allows for for bus and train fares, whatever is needed for me or one of the little Growlies to go with Mrs Growley, um, just to make sure that she's okay, she's safe. You know, if she's panics, then she's got the support there. Um, so a positive outcome. The the daily living part of it, they didn't overturn, but we'd already accepted that Mrs. Royal is actually making steps to to improve that part of it, so she can do tasks. Um, and they they accepted that, that there has been an improvement since the application went in, so that wasn't awarded. But we weren't contesting that. The bit we were contesting, we actually got the, the, the right outcome. Uh, so as much as letting everybody know what's what's going on, this is just to, to say thank you for the people that have commented on previous videos, offering support and, and all the rest of it. Uh, just thank you to you guys. Uh, we did get through the whole process. It's taken 10 months from the appeal, through the assessment, through the reconsideration and, th and the tribunal. Uh, so if anybody else is going through the same process, the same struggle, persevere with it. Uh, it is a long drawn out process. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight and you do have to do a lot of research uh, to be able to get your point across. Uh, it's now going to take at least a couple of days for Mrs. Grawley to uh, to recover from yesterday. So I'm fully expecting she's she's not going to be out of bed for at least a couple of days. I've got to go to work. Uh, it's Saturday today, uh, and I work Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, not for much longer, hopefully. We've got the uh, the DVR paperwork through, done, signed. So I will be going. I will be leaving. Uh, for the 31st of October uh, still on the the job hunt so that continues and we'll see where we go with that one um, but ultimately there was a, a clause in there I was fully prepared to be making a YouTube video uh, clearly outlining what I think of former employees and current employees, uh, employers, not employees, or maybe it applies to employees as well. Um, however, there's a a clause in the, uh, the settlement, the, the voluntary redundancy settlement, that says I cannot make any derogatory comments about the company or the employees or the processes or anything that may bring the company into disrepute. If if I do make those comments publicly, uh, 
then potentially the, the, the company can recover the entire settlement amount for the voluntary redundancy. Uh, and that's a, a significant amount because of the amount of time I've worked there. Um, we'll see where that one goes. I'm just going to be very, very careful. Um, I cannot directly do it as much as I want to. So we'll leave it there for now. Uh, but again, just a thank you for everybody that supported myself as Mrs. Grawley's carer and Mrs. Grawley herself uh, through this whole uh, pit tribunal process. For want of a better word. Uh, thank you for you guys for your support and your, your encouragement to keep going and get through to the end of it. You know, it has been a successful outcome. And we'll see where uh, where life takes us from here. So I'll leave this video for here. I know it's uh, it's kind of gone on a little bit, just a bit of a, a waffle and a, a, a ramble. Uh, and I will be back very soon with some more uh, updates on my wraith night for Idic Beer's Get It Painted Challenge. Uh, obviously, the last few days with the, the tribunal, I've not had a chance to do anything. Um, so Monday and Tuesday are my weekend, I might get a bit more done then. Um, they, there is more done, I've just not done any film, any any footage of it. So I'll get some of that done. Uh, the gems are probably about 80% done. It's just some fine detail and, uh, and varnish to seal them in. And then uh, get onto the bodywork. So like I say, we'll leave it there. So. Thank you again everyone uh, and I will see you soon on another video. So take care from Growly's Lair.